Hi everyone, I'm Miss Kosha from Municipal Library. I'm going to be showing you how to make steamed meat dumplings today. Let's start by looking at the recipe and then we can take a look at what materials we need to be able to make these dumplings. Here's the recipe. So we need a pound of ground beef, two tablespoons of vegetable oil. So I'm, I like to use canola oil, onion, salt, so you can also salt it to your taste, and then dumpling wrappers. And these are the dumpling wrappers that I like to use. I get them at H Mart, and they're very close to where the registers are, the checkout um, in a cold case there. Um, they're easy to use and they're pre-made. Some other things that you'll need to make your dumplings is a steamer. This is one I actually have that I got from a woman from Russia. And it, it has a bottom part it, um, that you fill with water so the water can boil. And then the upper part has these trays that go on the inside. Each tray fits in the inside. And that's what we're going to put our dumplings on. And then the heat from the boiling water will go up through the holes and it will steam our dumplings. So I'm going to start by turning on the stove so that the water can boil. Of course, we need a cutting board and a knife so that we can cut up our onion. And finally, we're going to need a plate with uh, a paper towel and water. So I put a little water on this plate with a paper towel and that is where we're going to, we're going to use that to seal our wrappers. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, put oil on these trays. And the reason we put oil on the tray is to keep the dumplings from sticking when they're cooking. So you don't need a lot of oil. You just dip the paper towel in the oil, get a little bit on the paper towel, or if you like, you can also use a brush. I'll just set this aside for a moment. The last tray. So I put my oil on, and I like to keep them on a plate because that way if the oil drips down, it's okay, it won't uh, get all over the stove or the counter. So I'm just gonna set these aside and I can use those as I complete my dumplings. I'm gonna take my pound, or it could be even a pound and a half of meat, it depends on how many dumplings you wanna make, and I'm gonna put that into our bowl. My onion. So I cut off, of course, the end of it and the other end. Okay, I turn my onion upside down and we're going to dice it. And to dice an onion, it means to chop it very fine. So I'm going to slice down and make small slices all the way across. Be careful of your fingers. Okay, and then I turn it sideways and Again, dice it into small pieces. Now we're gonna add the onion to the meat. I actually realized I needed a deeper bowl because it's this bowl, uh, this white bowl, I used because I thought it would be really easy to see, but it's too small. So I'm putting that all in the bowl, and then I'm gonna add oil. And I know I should probably measure, I would say around two tablespoons or a tablespoon. So I just pour a little oil in it doesn't have to be exact, but you don't need a lot of oil. And then salt. I like to salt to flavor, so I just sprinkle it all across lightly. Um, but again, I would say, depending upon how much meat you use, one to two teaspoons. Um, and then you're gonna mix it together. And hopefully your onions are small enough um, because if they're too big, it's hard to fit them in the dumpling wrappers. And you just wanna get onion, and salt throughout. All right, so I decided to also add a little pepper. So I'm gonna sprinkle some pepper in there for a little added flavoring and mix it again. And then it should be ready to put in the dumpling wrappers. Boiling, uh, you can see the steam. So if that is ready. I can turn that down and because we're not ready, I can turn it off. We're not ready with the dumplings yet take our dumpling wrappers and basically it's like a large round noodle okay um, and what we're gonna do is we have our plate with a 
paper towel and a little bit of water on it. So it's not a lot of water, but it's a, just enough so that we can put this on the water and then it gets wet. And that's gonna help us to seal the dumpling wrapper. We take about a teaspoon of filling like this and we set it inside our dumpling wrapper. If you have more people in your family that can help you to do this, it's a lot more fun. So you rest it in your fingers like this and put your thumb on the top. The first time you do this, it's gonna feel really, you know, it's gonna take some practice, okay? And you are going to squeeze or pinch the wrapper together. And then when you pinch, you push it forward and we're gonna form, it's like a fan. So you just push that, fur, that left side up a little bit and move your thumb down. And as you're doing that, you can kind of press the meat into the wrapper. So again, the left side, you press it and you just press it onto the right side. The right side, you never have to fold. You just fold the left side up, press it against the wet side. Again, both sides are wet, that's why they seal. Press it up and on, and then the last one until you get to the end. And you have a little dumpling wrapper that looks like a fan. Your meat's down here and this is sealed tight. You don't wanna leave any of this open because if it opens up when it's steaming, it'll get to be a mess and you'll lose your ingredients. And then we just place it on our steam tray. When you place them on the tray, you're gonna make sure that you leave space between them. We can rearrange them later before we steam it, but you don't want them to be touching because then they'll get stuck together. So the first few dumplings you make, it's going to feel awkward. You will feel like you have five thumbs, but after you get going, you will find that you go faster and your dumplings actually look better. They get, they get, uh, you improve with practice, like with anything. And there's lots of different fillings you can make. You can use meat, you could use uh, pork. I'm using beef, but you could use pork. Um, we also make a spinach dumpling that is with spinach and onions and cheese, and that's very delicious. So it can be um, something for people who are vegetarian, or even it's nice to have alongside the meat dumplings, so you're getting some vegetables in there as well. Okay, one tray is done, so we're on to the next. So what I like to do is just put it underneath and we'll start our next tray. Something for people who are vegetarian, or even it's nice to have alongside the meat dumplings, so you're getting some vegetables in there as well. Okay, one tray is done, so we're on to the next. So what I like to do is just put it underneath and we'll start our next tray. Our four trays of dumplings are ready. So now we're going to put them into our steamer. The water, you can tell, is boiling. So be very careful because it is very hot. And I'm going to set each tray down and what will happen is it will rest above the boiling water. So we don't wanna submerge it. It's not gonna be submerged into water. It's going to sit above the water. And I put all four in and make sure I put the lid on so it's tight. The water's gonna continue boiling and I'll set the timer for 20 minutes. All right, so after 20 minutes, our dumplings are ready. So let's take them out. Be careful about the steam. It'll be very, very hot. Now we're going to take out the dumplings. I like to use a tong and put it on a plate so that I don't burn myself on the hot metal. And again, be careful of the steam. Oops. All right, or you could use a hot pad as well to get that. And then I'm gonna cover it up because I decided I don't wanna have the meat dumplings alone. I wanna make some spinach dumplings to go with it. So very carefully, you see how it's like pasta? You have to very carefully take it off and put it in a clean dish. 
to serve to your family or guests when we don't have coronavirus. Okay. I hope you enjoyed learning how to make meat dumplings today. You might want to try eating yours with one of these soy sauces. The one on the left is a little sweeter, but both are delicious. Next time, I'll show you how to make spinach dumplings, another one of our family favorite meals. Have a great day.